teachers who constantly expanded my perception of what photography could be and introduced me to ideas and concepts that, you know, I would not have known about otherwise. You know, I always had thought that you had to have an assignment because I had worked part-time for a commercial photographer. And the idea that you could make photographs for very personal Michelle. reasons, the idea of self-expression, you know. I was aware of yeah. that. And then, you know, to have Minor White, who was a very poetic, mystical kind of person as a teacher. Photographers tend to talk about equipment because it's easier to talk it about is. equipment it than is. to talk about the actual right. images. But you know, how is your how, how do you work today? You're still working the whole day in the dark room or you're Yeah, you know, I still go in the dark room. The thing is it doesn't matter all that you've done in the past. Once that's you're in right, the dark room, right. you still have that blank piece of paper right. that you want to get something on. It, yeah. That has yeah. meaning and so uh, sometimes actually when you have an exhibit and you go and everybody tells you how wonderful right. you are and all this and you're so good, but yeah. yeah, but then when you get home, you know, two days later, you're in the dark room and you're you think, on. if I'm so wonderful, who's producing this piece of shit? someone sees one of my photographs, if their first response is, how did he do it? I mean, I, I don't want that. I want them to well, yeah, know. yeah. Well, or just like, wow, or well, gee, yeah. that amazed me, or I had a dream like, I don't mind the second question being, you know, how did you do it? Because they think when you're explaining how you did it, you really are telling them how the image came about, and you're not. It's like